Sometimes we think you have to have the biggest and best title to have the deepest wisdom. On my travels, I have found the people with the deepest wisdom are just your everyday people, regular people who just happen to know things. Listen intently as we hear stories of wisdom from everyday people. Welcome to Regular People Who Know Things, stories of wisdom from everyday people. Again, I started this podcast because I wanted to be able to highlight the stories of people that you would meet at the grocery store or the post office. You know, when you're having that conversation and you leave with the deepest wisdom you ever felt you could hear to continue forward in your life. Let's listen as Sandretta talks about forgiveness in ways you can forgive. You know, forgiveness is often misused. We all know this. There are no conditions. It's not, if you forgive me, then you would let me come over. It's, thanks for releasing me from contempt. I am glad you did the same for yourself. Contempt. Believing that someone is beneath worth and or value because of something they did happens all the time. It's about how we treat one another after we've been wronged. It doesn't mean go back into a domestically violent or emotionally abusive relationship. It means let them go. Take the chains off them and yourself too. Let yourself remember that you also make mistakes and say, I release you and I'm moving on. For me, if I forgive right away, I can fully step into my healing. I'll forgive a person and they may not hear from me for a while. Oh, I let you and me go. However, now I've got to heal. Take care. We all make mistakes and I look forward to us reconnecting, but right now I'm moving on. Everyone heals differently. For me, I need space. This means that when I hurt someone, I am pretty understanding that they may need space. I may be sad, but I do not get to choose how others interact with me. I can choose to interact with them how I do. So let's talk then about the rules we adapt in our relationship that constantly hold us in contempt. You ever feel like someone owes you something? Wrong. No one owes you anything. Ever feel like people ought to be doing what you think? Wrong. No one is your slave. Ever want to control what comes out of someone else's mouth? Oops. That's not your mouth. You see, forgiveness serves as a reminder that people are not our slaves. That's it. Here is how to forgive, a.k.a. let people go. Number one, accept that you are a human being, human being, capable of hurting others. Number two, be kind to yourself when you hurt someone. Beating yourself up means you'll beat up others too. Number three, when someone wrongs you, take a moment to yourself and process how you feel before you react. Number four, give yourself time to heal. Let's recap. No one owes you anything. No one is your slave. That's not your mouth. You can forgive. Thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed listening to this episode about forgiveness. And I hope that if there's anyone you haven't forgiven, you can let them go so that you can release yourself and live a free, joyful life. Thank you for listening. Thank you.